So in my Discord server, there are around 170 people who say they're an artist. And it should come to no surprise that a few of those artists make fan art of me. Which to everyone who's made fan art of me so far, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. But that's besides the point. The point is, I sometimes occasionally go on the artwork channel to see what you guys have made. And I have to say, the actual artwork you do post on there is some of the most enjoyable artwork to look at. So I thought I might as well give some appreciation to the artists in my community by raking your art. Especially considering the fact this is coming from a guy who literally has a draw saw the hedgehog for an a plus no i'm not kidding anyway let's check some art out okay so first up we have this one from jp and if i'm being completely honest it looks like just the average furry like literally just the average furry it just feels like one of those like furry templates you can just use to like make your own recolor of your avatar or whatnot it's still good it's, I, like, I like the cartoony uh like look of it with the eyes and whatnot and i know not everybody is talented at art like i can get behind the design so i'm gonna give this one a seven all right, next up we have one from Actius Vulpus. It looks like some kind of a sketch of something. I, I can't tell what that is exactly. It kind of looks like an anthropomorphic bird, like an alvi, alvi, whatever it's called. The lungs would start to turn to stone when infected. Oh, so is that like him turning to stone or something? Yes. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5. All right, next up we have one from Tom. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like something that would be like from the official song team like concept art or whatnot. I mean, I get that Green Hills like reused so many times. I still like the art though. I think the art looks really good. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. All right, next up we have from Casio or Cheese Curds. And we have like the whole squad here, the whole nine people. Wait, are there only nine characters or are there 10? I don't know. It's, it's a nice like little design of like all the uh, TF2 characters. I like it. I'm also gonna give this one an eight. All right, next up we have Final Hope Trio. And it's like some kind of um, idol spray of like the, the miniature Sonic, but I guess it's like his character. It looks nice, like the, the mini design with like the with the toe going up and down because of like the idleness and whatnot. I don't know how hard it is to do like sprite work because I've, I've never gotten to that kind of thing before. I like it, I really do like it. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. Next up we have Mr. Sound. Is that supposed to be like box tin from like Dandy's World or something? I, I don't know. I, I only played it like twice and I'm just going off of what I see like in the message. I'm guessing that's supposed to be some kind of like um pajamas or like beige wear or something. I, I can't exactly tell what it is, but I like it. I'm just going to give it a 7 out of 10. All right, next up, we have one from Clover. And uh, you can definitely tell this one's supposed to be more gruesome. The chainsaw and the bat coming out. I'm pretty sure we all know that's blood. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I mean, it's a nice looking like nightmare design, even if it's kind of hard to see with like the pencil outline and whatnot. It's still really attention to the detail. And I like that, like, especially with like the giant eye. I'm, I'm going to give it a 7.5. Next up, we have Traka. That actually looks like an official like frame from the show. I mean, I, I never watched Dragon Ball Z and any anime for that matter but just by going off what i saw and like memes and whatnot that looks almost identical to what um would actually be in the show if that was like done by memory and not by racing it and whatnot I, I think that's pretty dang impressive i'm gonna give it a nine next up we have one from tank and like, I know it's supposed to be a boy kisser reskin of Tang. Tang is like a um Tiger Shark from Change. Just, just, just no. I'm giving this a zero. All right, up next we have one from Trox. It doesn't look like it's like a drawn piece of artwork, but it looks like a, like a model kind of thing on Roblox. Not sure like what he's trying to make there. It looks like he's trying to make his own train character there. You have Thomas the Tank Engine on the left. I, I don't know. I, it, it's unfinished, so I can't really say much about it. So I'll just give it a six. All right, next up we have Carl plays games and. Well, this technically counts as fan art since it's, well, you can obviously tell it's me with the sunglasses, but it's a different character per se. Like, I'm not entirely sure who this is supposed to be. Like, it's supposed to be like my evil side or whatnot, whatever people want to fantasize about. I don't know. It looks cool. He's pretty much wearing my favorite color, which is red. So that's cool. Not sure what it's like with the giant like robe thing he's wearing. And of course, it's like the common uh scratch mark, which is a common thing of Carl, but I'm not complaining. I think it works. I'll give it a 7.5. All right, next up, we have another one from Tom, and it looks like it's supposed to be, like, the pizza game player. It's a pretty basic design, which is, like, a red t-shirt, dark gray pants, Roblox visor thing, and, like, two pistols. It's nothing breathtaking, but it's very appealing to look at. I'm gonna give it an 8. 
All right, next up we have Basai. I'm not entirely sure who this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be like his um his avatar or something? I mean, I can't exactly tell. I don't really know like people's OCs and whatnot. I'm just going in blind here. But I mean, it looks nice. He kind of looks like he has a prisoner look to him, like with the um orange and gray like jacket slash shirt he's wearing. But hey, I dig it. I'm gonna give it a seven. And last up we have Bapple Apple, which uh you can definitely tell this guy right here has like an obsession with furries. Look at the background. You have pro shocked frame just like right there. You have like a progen right above him. That it's that one picture of like so many freaking change plushies. God dang. Slug cat kind of right there. And I don't even know what that is over there. Because that's supposed to be like a low tier god kind of furry and mm. boy thing. That is not correct. I, I don't know. I like I like the render though. Like the render looks cool. So I'm gonna give this one an 8.5. And uh yeah, I think that just about does it. Thank you! Artists. Yeah, this might have been a short video, but it's a video I've been wanting to make for a while. And also, and also because I couldn't really record any, like, the gameplay videos I wanted to do for a while because I was so busy this week. But really, you guys make some great artwork. I just want to let you guys know that. Hopefully this weekend I'll be able to record those gameplay videos I wanted to do, like the continuation of RL Craft, uh, possibly Dandy's World, and another attempt at Doors Floor 2. Because I've been wanting to do those all week and I really haven't been able to since, again, I've been busy with work and school and all that in between. But yeah, thank you, artist. I am going to Kermit Suicide.